Hey guys, it's Dewey here and I'm back with part 2 of the Crucible Ocean Platform Base build. So, if you have not seen part 1, I suggest you go back to that first, otherwise this is going to make no sense whatsoever. So, to recap from last episode, we are building this thing here, which is the Crucible. And we are up to this stage here, again, if you have watched part 1. So... We are going to begin with building our landing platform and TP pads up here for today's episode. So, what we're going to do is we are going to come up to the top here. And we are going to place... Like that. And we're going to place that sealant there. Then we're going to place one sealant back like that. And do you know what? We're going to place another sealant back. Like that. <laughs> then. Off of this sealant here. We're going to place a triangle. And a triangle there. And then we're going to come over here. And have a look at reference. Of what we did here. So one triangle. Then two sealants going all the way around. So one triangle, two sealants, like so. And then do that all the way around. So then we have this. Next, we're going to repeat that process on this side. So one triangle, two sealants. Next, we are going to fill in this mid middle bit with triangles. So just fill that in. And then repeat that process on the other side. And after that you should end up with this. Then we're going to build the third circle. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to look at reference on this circle. <coughs> so it's one sealant followed by five triangles. And then a sealant. So we're going to repeat that process all the way around. Like that. So you end up with that shape on that one. And then again, you're going to want to fill in with triangles and sealants. So you're going to want to do a triangle here. And then two sealants. Like that. Then triangle. So just do that to fill in. And then you end up with that shape left over. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down and we are going to place a wall there, a wall there, and then we're going to place a sealant, or a triangle sealant I should say. And once you've got our triangle sealant in place, just get rid of this wall here. And then basically you're just going to fill in, you're going to turn it like a box. So, like that. Like that, and then just do it around the other side as well. Like so. And then just fill in the middle with the triangle sealants. Nope. Don't worry so much if this bit doesn't fill in like that. That bit might not fill in, but that's fine. Doesn't matter because it won't be seen.
Then once you've got that bit like that, just put some walls around the edge to seal it off. And once you've got that, you want to repeat the process for the other two platforms. Okay? Cool. Okay, you should then have this filled in on all sides like so. So they look like circular boxes. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to come down with walls from this point here. All the way down to the lowest point. Don't worry about that not connecting because that won't matter shortly. Just get those connecting like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a sealant in here and we're going to have that come along like that and then just fill in like so like that. There we go, like that. So, that's how you get all that. Sorry about that. Uh, so, what you do is just bring one more sealant off there. And just get it snapped to the right snap point, which that isn't. That's not again. There we go. Right. You can go with last sealant now. And then, as before, just bring this down to there. Come up. To there. You might be asking why does this matter, it's because this is where the generators are going to go and obviously if you have the generator too close to the door, you can't access the generator's inventory. Right, get our tech double door frames again. Place sealant on top, not a sealant, a wall, place that. Like so. And then standard generator will go in here. I'm sure I had some normal generators. There we go. So that's your standard generator in there. And then up here will be our tech generator. Like so. Tech generator goes there because it will need to power the tech teleport, which is going to be up here. Next, in order to place our tech teleporter, we are going to add one more sealant there. I actually better make it two sealants. Nope. Better make it one sealant. Get our tech teleporter out.
that should be lined up nicely so you can put Raylands around on the outside. So we get rid of the sealant. And next we're going to get our Raylands. On these little edges here you probably won't be able to place them but that's fine it doesn't matter. Like so. And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to place our railings. Not there. And then just go around the outer ring of these landing pads. Place our wall and then place our stairs. There. Now you might be wondering how you're going to get up to this level. So what we're going to do, oh by the way. <coughs> now regarding these boxes here, the reason why we have those is if you want to put electrical cables inside them to run lights or electrics up here, you can. So that's why they're there. Next we're going to come down to these little alcoves here. What we're going to do is we're going to place one wall, two wall, three wall. Then we're going to get our sloped walls. And we're going to place that like that. Creating staircases down to these bits. I'm also going to want to place one staircase there. So we'll come over to the opposite side here. Place one wall, two wall, three wall. Place our slopes. Place our stairs. And then again, one set of stairs there. Right. We've got a few more little bits and pieces to do out here, and then we will move on to the inside. Right. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. And with our electrical intersections, we're just going to place one there. And then go all the way along to the other side with the straights. And place your intersection there. We're going to repeat this process on all four sides. There we go. Once you've got that done on all four sides, you're going to come down and you're going to place however many junction boxes you want. Around the edge. I'm obviously not going to do it all the way because this is just a tutorial. But yeah, place as many junction boxes as you want around the edge. Then we're going to come back to the side, which has our generator on, which is over here. We're going to come inside the generator room. And we're going to place just a wire. Just a wire like that. Then we're going to come down to where this is. And we're going to run 
a flexible cable. Just connecting into the generator room there. You also use this column here to run power up the levels to these levels up here, okay? Right, once you've got that and those wires all sorted, what you can do is you can come and put your greenhouse sealants all along here. Obviously, don't do that corner box. Like so. You're just covering these over with the greenhouse sealants at this stage. There you go, your greenhouses. Now you can just take your normal sealants and place them like so. And do that on all four corners. Once you've done that, come down to this area and place. your sloped metal roofs. It is a bit difficult, so what you might want to do to get yourself started is just place down a sloped wall. That normally helps get you started. There you go. There you go. Now repeat that process on the other three sides. Once you've done that, <coughs> place a metal sealant in each of these corners and two large metal walls going all the way up. There we go. Next we are going to come inside, not into that area, into this area. And we are going to place our second floor. Like so. Like that. <clears throat> what you're actually want to gonna, gonna want to do is just pick up these sealants here. And you'll see why in a few moments. What we're going to want to do is get our tech double door frames again. And our railings. So we're just going to place our double door frames and our wall up there. Also, you're going to want to place the other two stairways there. And there. I don't know why there's no sealant there. There you 
Don't know why that's done that either. There we go. Right. I'm going to come back up here. Got our stairs placed. Yep. Add the double door frames again. And the wall. And the doors. Now we're just going to quickly place in some railings. No. On these access ways here. Like so. Now we're going to come down to this floor here. What we're going to do. Is we're going to break that sealant there. Break that one there. Basically following a pattern from above. So that should match that pattern above now. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to establish where the front of the house is. So front is here. And we're going to break the ones below. And we're going to break the ones below in this pattern. There we go. <laughs> now, this is how we're going to place our replicator. We're going to get a replicator out. And we're going to get our ladders. Now, obviously, due to the harsh, obviously, due to the placement of the sealants, we can't actually use the ladder to 100% place it. What we can do is, at the least, we can make sure our camera angle is straight. So we're then going to come into the water. Sorry. We're going to want to get rid of these sealants too. Just for now. We're going to be placing these back once we've got the replicator in place. So again, use the ladder to make sure our camera is angled properly. And Right, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, come up here as well and get rid of these sealants. Right, 
like so. Then come down here. It's a bit of trial and error. Suppose we could do. Let's do this. There we go. That's a better, better placement. Should be fine now. Should be fine all round. Doesn't matter so much for the back. There we go. <clears throat> so that's now sealed off on that floor. Now I come back up to this floor up here. And... Place your sealants back on. So when you've got this layout on the top floor, you're going to come over to this side. Pick up these two sealants. And you're going to add stairs on that side. And you're going to add... Stairs on that side. Get some more of your railings. Some railings around like this. That way you can place some vaults of some sort there. So this is what you have up here. Then if you come back down. You'll see that this is what you have on this floor. And if we go down to the basement area. This is what you have on this floor. So again. We're going to rail it around. The edge of this. Again, it doesn't matter about the back. We can get rid of this little platform here now. And then for the finishing touch to our replicator, what we're going to do is we're going to use our ladder to make sure that we're camera angle is good. Pick it up. Get the daddy. Go along to there. Go up. Four till you reach the ceiling. Pick up the daddies here and then just go along like so.
There we go. Then at all points, you can access the deadies above you. And access the replicators. Once we come outside, we are going to add the finishing touches over here. Which is, of course, railings. And you just do this around the edges of the forge on all the sides. Then you're going to come up top <coughs> and just railing around to all the open edges. Like so. Just do it all the way around the edge. Okay guys, so that is the bulk of the construction done. The only things that are left to be done are like the furnishings of where you place your refrigerators, uh, your cryo fridges, electronics, that all sorts, all that sort of thing. Uh, which I will leave to you because I'm not going to tell you how to lay out the actual components of your base. But this is the actual structure done. Now, disclaimer, uh, as I was building this, obviously for you guys, I have changed a few of the ways I've done things compared to the original um, such as the replicator room. Uh, my replicator placement wasn't great on this build but you if you have a tribe mate with you will be able to obviously refine the placement like this could always come a little bit closer to the edge and that and allow you to railing off this bit obviously I couldn't because I don't have a tribe mate with me at the time to help me uh, obviously these steadies are all for your strider and that all the crafting room is for you to do what you wish with uh, obviously you need to do a lick of paint to make it look like this one over here if you want to paint it them colors the tech lights around the edge are purely for decoration on my part obviously you may not want to do them and obviously that is it I'm afraid and that is the end of the video I hope you guys like comment and subscribe uh, obviously I apologise about the few mess ups that have happened during this video. I haven't been feeling too well and it's been affecting me a little bit in my ability to build. So hope you enjoy, hope you build this. Have a good day guys, look after yourselves, bye.